Now, the newly adopted crime-combating high-density operation is in Tembisa this evening. Since its inception in May, more than 78,000 suspects have been arrested for a variety of crimes, ranging from murder to rape. Let's get an update on tonight's operation. We are joined by Gauteng Police Commissioner Elias Mawela. Good evening to you, Police Commissioner. Thank you very much for joining us. First and foremost, let's just get an update from the situation currently on the ground in Tembisa. Uh, greetings to all the viewers at home. Let's appreciate the opportunity given to us. Yes, we are in Tembisa, one of the station which is within the national top 80 priority station. And it's one of my provincial priority station. Uh, but uh, we came here uh, so that we can come and assist the station commander because of the crime in this area is a little bit stubborn and we know the root causes of crime, uh, which it will take us some time before it can be addressed uh, by other stakeholders. But um, as for us, with Operation Chanel, we have started with the bang in that already 20 undocumented persons arrested and 16 people arrested for drinking, for driving under the influence of liquor. And then we have arrested five people who were uh, trading without the license, uh, alcohol and so forth. And uh, five people were also arrested for drugs. But let me also not forget to appreciate the work done by our detectives. From yesterday, uh, 1800 hours until early hours of today, Saturday, they've arrested 801 known and wanted suspects. So we are grateful with what we have achieved thus far. If we didn't go out in numbers and go and trace and track these people, they will still be roaming the streets of Gaute. Police Commissioner, just switching gears and onto a very concerning topic, there seems to be a rise in cash and transit heists uh, in the country. Do you lack capacity to deal with this? We observed one taking place uh, today on the N12 uh, south of Johannesburg. Talk to us about your concerns and the work you are doing in this regard. Yeah, definitely we are all concerned about these uh, CITs which are happening all over, especially uh, on our national and provincial roads because they cause a, a high level of anxiety to the community and to the citizens and other road users. And, uh, but we are doing our level best. We did deploy uh, the teams to can work around the clock to deal with these people. Uh, you will recall that earlier on uh, this morning, uh, the national spokesperson of the National Commissioner issued a statement about how we responded to one of the CIT which happened during the week, uh, whereby four people were arrested around this area of Tembisa, and a uh, rifle was recovered, uh, explosives, magazines and uh, ammunition was recovered. But we can see that they are there in these people and they continue to can cause havoc in our community. But uh, we are undeterred. We'll also fight back. We'll ensure that those who have committed this heinous crime uh, will track them down until we find them. It is this season, of festive season, whereby we expect that uh, CITs, they will be on the rise, but uh, will also be equal to the task so that we can deal with those ones. Mm. But do you think that you are on the right track, Police Commissioner? I mean, we are seeing more and more of these incidents uh, happen and they are quite uh, devastating and shocking. And it's happening on public roads with pedestrians uh, driving past and by in that moment. Are you, are you winning when it comes to this fight? Yeah, I think um, our limitation is that we are not proactive enough. I want to see us... Uh, uh, intercepting them before they commit crime. I want to see us uh, arresting them while they are in their safe houses before they commit this crime. But uh, in terms of reactive, the response after they've committed crime, I've seen that we have, we have been doing very well because of within the short space of time, we respond and we find them wherever they are in their hiding place. Not very long, one of the suspects we escaped who escaped uh, uh, the, the operation in Woodspray was also arrested here in Tembisa by our teams. And uh, we believe that coming to reactive 
we are doing very well, but this is not what we want. We want to be more on proactive, prevent these things from happening. But we'll up our gas and so that we ensure that we prevent these things from happening instead of being reactive. Mm, and we hope that we will see those developments, uh, Commissioner. But just moving on, I want to find out your plan of action when it comes to uh, spaza shops uh, selling very dangerous and expired foods to our communities. Uh, just recently we heard of two children who passed away in Soweto after consuming the, the food that they've purchased from these spaza shops. What's the plan of action and how far is your probe? Yeah, um, you see, all the municipalities, they have a directorate, uh, uh, which is responsible for uh, environmental health. And those inspectors, it is their responsibility to can come and, and visit all these spaza shops, the hawkers around the street, the vendors around the schools, check the types of food which is being sold to the children and so forth. We have called upon them that they need to heighten their operation. They need to be more visible on the street because with us as the police, we can come and check, but we don't have the expertise to can check whether this food it is uh, of good quality or suitable for human consumption. So we call upon those who are responsible for enver environmental health to can also assist us and be more visible especially in the township where we have informal, uh, informal uh, traders like your spaza shops and so forth. But of concern is especially those who are selling uh, this food for the children uh, next to the schools. If they can prioritize those, we'll be much more happier. All right, Police Commissioner, thank you very much uh, for your time and sharing this information. We always appreciate uh, talking to you here on Newsnight. That was the Gauteng Police Commissioner, uh, Elias Mawela.